Hey guys, Base Shogun here, and today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Rise of the Beast Studio Series Bumblebee figure. Yeah, there we go. So this is the 100th release in the Studio Series line. That makes it kind of special in my opinion. We'll take a look at the back of the box as well. I picked this one up at Walmart. I think it was about 35 Canadian kind of standard price there. Oh yeah, all right. We'll get it unboxed. I'll get it open and we'll uh, take a okay. look. Okay, guys, before we get into the review and get them unboxed, if you feel like it, please like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let's get into the review. Okay. Okay, we can see we have him out of the box here. Here's his... Uh, Special Studio Series little cardboard display. He does come with two accessories right there. First thing I'm noticing is that is missing some uh, silver paint, uh, unfortunately, but what can you do? Okay, guys, we can have him out of the box. He is posed on the turntable here. Overall, a nice little bumblebee figure, I think. I just wish like the sword had more silver paint apps as well as the head uh, looks like it could definitely be uh, painted a bit more and there's no Autobot symbol uh, on him that I can see which is a little bit weird but um, what are you gonna do I've definitely seen a lot of worse figures from Hasbro lately and it, though it is small it actually does have a nice uh, kind of bulk to parts of it so I do like that so here's some articulation on him you could do you could do a full 360 but his uh, doors are in the way here elbow bend here their leg can get a nice kick up bend here does have a rocking ankle joint so that all looks pretty good the only thing i'm noticing with a lot of these um rise of the beast figures if you want to just take a look at the hand there to me that looks kind of really like cheap like it's just kind of like a big circle like that but pretty small complaint overall the figure does feel sturdy all right, guys, now that we've taken a quick look at the figure, I'm going to get him into his alt mode, and we'll take a look at that. Okay, we have him here in his alt mode, and this is a very nice-looking car, I think, in my opinion. Uh, Camaro, it's uh, got an updated look there. A lot of the previous Studio Series Bumblebees have been using the same mold, and I believe this is mostly a new mold, so that's exciting right there. Not too bad. Yeah, rules all right. And one thing I want to give them bonus points for is I always hate, whether it be Transformers, Power Rangers, I don't care, when there's not anywhere to store the accessories. Luckily, this guy, you can tab his sword down in here. If I can get it, there we are. And this one, I don't dig this storage so much, but um, yeah, this just clips on to here if I can figure it out again there we are so yeah you can see it right there and that looks good from certain angles but you know it, it is kind of like having a big unsightly thing hanging off the back of them okay and overall I really like the alt mode actually I almost for once might even like it more than the robot mode which is pretty rare i just think this uh camaro it looks tight all my um pegs lined up there's no not too many uh spacing uh, to worry about one thing i will let you know though is at least for me the back part is very hard to peg in and i did actually get some minor paint uh chipping or scraping there not a big deal but if you're very picky about that just be careful transforming this back end it is very tight so i'm gonna get him back into robot mode we're gonna do some scaling we're gonna have them next to some more bumblebee figures some uh, line mates with them i'm gonna give you my final thoughts after that all right let's get into it all right and just before we do scale i actually just wanted to show you some of the playability with some of the battleizers uh, from the line it looks ridiculous but you could have them going kind of double akimbo fending off uh, Decepticons I think it looks pretty ridiculous but pretty cool as well yeah not too bad here's some scaling for you here is the bumblebee 
from Rise of the Beast transformable mask right there. And here is a G1 Bumblebee, so you can get a uh, little scale comparison with your classic stuff right there. And here is the Masterpiece Gold Bumblebee. So they're about the same size, actually. The scale's pretty good, I think. And then, just for shits and giggles, because we can, here he is, scaled next to the Mega, I think, Bumblebee is what it's called. Just for fun there. There we go. We just had to have a little bit of fun there. All right, guys. So we've taken a good look at him there along with some of his friends. And I do really like this Studio Series release. I think for $35, the plastic feels sturdy. There's a few kind of iffy moments, but overall it feels less fiddly. I could get it done pretty well. I'm digging it. It does need some paint, but you know, that's something I could touch up with some Gundam markers and that. So yeah, I think overall, I'm gonna give this guy a 7.5. I think it's a really solid transformer. And obviously, if you can get it a little bit under retail, I'd recommend that. But I also wouldn't feel cheated buying it for full retail price. So yeah, I think that's about the review right there. I'll have the new Studio Series 101 Scourge, I believe, reviewed in a couple days. And uh, yeah, he's going to look really good with that Bumblebee because looks like from the trailer, they might have a few interactions in the mo new movie. So guys, remember, don't let anyone or anything ever stop you from collecting.